So in this world with super powerful AI uh, that's increasingly automated, what's the source of meaning for us humans? Yeah. You know, work is a source of deep meaning for many of us. So what do we, uh, where do we find the meaning? This is something that I've, I've written about a little bit in the essay, although I, I actually, I give it a bit short shrift, not for any, um, not for any principled reason, but this essay, if you believe it was originally going to be two or three pages, I was going to talk about it at all hands. And the reason I, I, I realized it was an under, un, uh, important underexplored topic is that I just kept writing things yeah. and I was just like, oh man, I can't do this justice. And so the thing ballooned to like 40 or 50 pages. And then when I got to the work and meaning section, I'm like, oh man, this isn't going to be a hundred pages. Like I'm going to have to write a whole other essay about that. But meaning is actually interesting because you think about like the life that someone lives or something, or like, you know, like, you know, let's say you were to put me in like a, I don't know, like a simulated environment or something where like, um, you know, like I have a job and I'm trying to accomplish things. And I don't know, I like do that for 60 years. And then, then you're like, oh, oh, like, oops, this was, this was actually all a game, right? Does that really kind of rob you of the meaning of the whole thing? You know, like I still made important choices, including moral choices. I still sacrificed. I still had to kind of gain all these skills or, or, or just like a similar exercise, you know, think back to like, you know, one of the historical figures who, you know, discovered electromagnetism or relativity or something. If you told them, well, actually 20,000 years ago, some, some alien on, you know, some alien on this planet discovered this before, before you did, um, does that, does that rob the meaning of the discovery? It, it, it doesn't really seem like it to me, right? It seems like the process is what, is what matters and how it shows who you are as a person along the way. And you know how you relate to other people, and like the decisions that you make along the way, those are those are consequential. Um, you know, I, I I could imagine if we handle things badly in an AI world, we could set things up where people don't have any long term source of meaning or any. But but that's that's more a choice, a set of choices we make. That's more a set of the architecture of a society with these powerful models. If we if we design it badly and for shallow things, then then that might happen. I would also say that, you know, most people's lives today, while admirably, you know, they work very hard to find meaning and meaning in those lives, like, look, you know, we who are privileged and who are developing these technologies, we should have em empathy for people, not just here, but in the rest of the world, who who, you know, spend a lot of their time kind of scraping by to 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 to, to like survive, assuming we can distribute the benefits of these technology to, uh, of this technology to everywhere like their lives are going to get a hell of a lot better. Um, and, uh, you know, meaning will be important to them as it is important to them now, but, but, you know, we should not forget the importance of that. And, and, you know, that, that, uh, the idea of meaning as, 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 as kind of the only important thing is in some ways, an artifact of, of a small subset of people who have, who have been, uh, economically fortunate. But I, you know, I think all that said, I, you know, I think a world is possible with powerful AI that not only has as much meaning for for everyone, but that has that has more meaning for everyone, right? That can can allow um, can allow everyone to see worlds and experiences that it was either possible for no one to see or or possible for for very few people to experience. Um, so I I am optimistic about meaning. I worry about economics and the concentration of power. That's actually what I worry about more. Um, I, I worry about how do we make sure that that fair world reaches everyone. Um, when things have gone wrong for humans, they've often gone wrong because humans mistreat other humans. Uh, that That is maybe in some ways even more than the autonomous risk of AI or the question of meaning. That That, that is the thing I worry about most, um, the, the concentration of power, the abuse of power, um, structures like autocracies and dictatorships where a small number of people exploits a large number of people. I'm very worried about that. And AI increases the uh, amount of power in the world. And if you concentrate that power and abuse that power, it can do immeasurable damage. Yes. It's very frightening. It's very, it's very frightening. Well, I encourage people, highly encourage people to read the full essay. <laughs> that should probably be a book or a sequence of essays. Uh, because it does paint a very specific future. And I could tell the later sections got shorter and shorter because you started to probably realize that this is going to be a very long essay. If I, I keep going. One, <laughs> I realized it would be very long. And two, I'm very aware of and very much try to avoid um, 
you know, just, just being, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know what the term for it is, but one, one of these people who's kind of overconfident and has an opinion on everything and kind of says, says a bunch of stuff and isn't, isn't an expert. I very much tried to avoid that, but I have to admit once I got the biology sections, like I wasn't an expert. And so as much as I expressed uncertainty, uh, probably I said some, a bunch of things that were embarrassing or wrong. Well, I was excited for the future you painted and, uh, Thank you so much for working hard to build that future. And thank you for talking today, Dara. Thanks for having me. I just I just hope we can get it right and and make it real. And if there's one message I wanna I wanna send, it's that to get all this stuff right, to make it real, we we both need to build the technology, build the, you know, the companies, the economy around using this technology positively. But we also need to address the risks because they're they're, they're those risks are in our way. They're they're landmines on on the way from here to there. And we have to diffuse those landmines if we want to get there. It's a balance like all things in life. Like all things. Thank you.